Digital stickers are such an easy way to make tasks and schedules in your digital planner fun and honestly more enjoyable no matter how tedious or busy the plans themselves can be. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our Passion Planner digital stickers in our digital planners. This video is split up into two parts. The first half is for anyone using our digital planners in the app GoodNotes, while the second half is for those of you using our planners in any app other than GoodNotes. With any of our digital sticker downloads, you'll notice they're divided into two separate folders, one for GoodNotes and one for non-GoodNotes users. You can skip ahead to the timestamp applicable to you. So starting off with those of you using GoodNotes, I'll be demonstrating on an iPad. So first things first, you're going to navigate to your downloaded sticker file in your Files app. Now this is important. In order to access your downloaded Passion Planner digital file, you need to first unzip your file by tapping on it or long pressing on it and clicking Uncompress. There's a README file here with instructions on how to download your stickers if you need it. Now go ahead and open up your GoodNotes folder. If your files end in .collection, you're going to need to import these directly into the Elements tool in GoodNotes for them to work. If your files end in .goodnotes or .goodnotes.zip, you can go ahead and skip ahead. So for these .collection files, let's first open up our planner in GoodNotes just to have that ready. Then go ahead and go back into your Files app and click on the dot .collection file. Tap the Share button, then click the GoodNotes icon, not Open in GoodNotes. Then select Create. Alternatively, in GoodNotes, you can click on your Elements tool, tap on anywhere on the page, swipe left till you get to this plus button, select Import From, then navigate to your dot .collection file. Now, whenever you want to use a sticker, you can insert it straight into your planner from your Elements tool without having to open up a different document or app. You then just use either your Lasso tool or Photo tool to select and move your sticker, duplicate it, resize it, rotate it, and so forth. Repeat this process with the rest of your dot .collection files. Okay, so in your Files app, Go ahead and open up the GoodNotes folder, and if your file ends in .goodnotes.zip, you need to unzip it. So go ahead and tap on it or long press and click uncompress. Then select the unzipped .goodnotes file. Click the share icon. Then select the GoodNotes icon or open in GoodNotes. And then import as new document. Alternatively, you could also use the import button in the GoodNotes dashboard and navigate to your .goodnotes file. Once imported, you can swipe through all of the different pages in your sticker book, then just copy and paste the stickers you want to use into your digital planner using the lasso tool or photo tool. You can resize, rotate, duplicate, or move your stickers using the lasso or photo tool. Personally though, I prefer to have my sticker book and planner open side by side so that I can drag and drop stickers straight into my planner. So to do this, you can long press on the sticker book tab and drag it out to the side to open up split view or tap on this little arrow and click open in new window. Then I would just use the lasso or photo tool to select the sticker, long press on it till it pops out like this then drag and drop it into the planner window. If you're adding multiple stickers, this makes the process a whole lot easier. Okay, now if you're using our digital planners in an app other than GoodNotes, you're going to follow these instructions. So I'll be demonstrating with the app Notability on an iPad, so the steps may vary depending on the device that you're using. First, you'll navigate to your downloaded file. Mine is in the Files app. And this is important, you need to first unzip your downloaded file in order to access its contents. So on the iPad, you would tap on it or long press on it and click uncompress to unzip the file. From there, you'll navigate to the non-GoodNotes folder. Now this part may look different depending on which sticker pack or sticker book that you purchased because some sticker packs have a lot less stickers than our sticker books. 
But so for example, our digital icons and tracker sticker pack looks like this, while something like our new year new goal sticker book looks a lot more like this. There are 520 stickers in this sticker book, and so for each of the different pages, there's a corresponding sticker folder. That way you don't have to scroll through 520 stickers to find the one you want to use. So for example, if I wanted to use this sticker here, I would know it's in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh folder. So I would go ahead and navigate to that folder, click on the sticker I wanna use, tap the share icon, click copy, and then open up my planner in Notability, and then use the select tool to paste the sticker into my planner. My preferred way of doing this is dragging and dropping the sticker straight into my planner so I don't have to go back and forth between my files app and my notability app. On the iPad, you would click on these three dots at the top here, click split view, open up notability, then long press on the sticker file until it pops out like this, and then just drag and drop it straight into your planner. You can use the select tool to resize, rotate, move or duplicate your stickers. And that concludes how to use our Passion Planner digital stickers. We have so many amazing stickers for you to use in your planner up on our website, which I'll link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment below.